Let's start this off with something um, funny and or oh, interesting. Let me, let me check out our notes on this beer. And Rachel's got nothing. Emmett, anything? Uh, you didn't give me two seconds to think about <laughs> I it. I gave you like ten seconds. No. You can't just be hilarious and charming <laughs> on the spot, okay? It just comes when I want it to come. Okay. That's what she said. <laughs> so we're about to keg the porter, the um, steak porter. Sure. What was it called? Porterhouse porter. Porterhouse porter. <laughs> I knew it had steak in it. Steak porter. <laughs> <laughs> um... So we used, um, we found out that uh, we had actually picked up uh, the wrong grain bill for this. So we ended up using Pilsner malt instead of uh, English uh, pale malt for this. So They did not have English pale. They did not have English pale. So we substituted it with pills, which is probably going to be good. We actually mashed a little bit shorter than we needed to just because we, we ran out of time. So... With Pilsner, you usually like to mash a little bit longer. We mashed a little bit lower. So our, our uh, efficiency wasn't great. Um, I think the estimated gravity was 1066. I think we hit about 1055. Okay. So it's going to have Pilsner malt instead of two row. Everything else is going to be the same. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. It should be pretty good. Um, it's a local um, maltster, maltster that's making this uh, Pilsner. So Riverbend? Uh, Riverside? Riverside. Riverbend, something like that. Well, we'll put it in the notes. Yeah. Um, but we're excited to try it. Um, probably not the ideal recipe for it, but we had it and we used it. So. Or what you got. Yep. Do you ever purge the keg with CO2 before you? I, I usually do. Um, if you don't, you, if you just put the hose at the very bottom of the keg, it, it does a pretty good job. Um, we don't have our tank out here. Um, but normally I would I would have my CO2, I'd purge the tank or just leave it on low while I'm filling it. Right. Um, but honestly, we're making homebrew. You know, yep. it, it'll be fine. It's casual. Almost there. All right. We're good. Good. Again, Oops. my blue blockers. I thought I was out. <laughs> I, was like, I wasn't. Can you see? Nope. <laughs> put that anywhere, Rachel. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Where am I supposed to put it? Uh, in the bucket. Maybe? Bucket or over the edge. Or something. Well, I thought this was a nice scene for it. This, this is, is why we can't have I nice this things. Scenery. Rachel. We'll just rinse it off. It'll be fine. <laughs> so where are we sitting at? We'll just lap it up like a cat. Ten ten. What do you What do you think, Rachel? Um, I think we're at. Man, this. Ten ten. Yeah, right about exactly at ten ten. Okay, cool. So it smells good. We will uh, all over the place. <laughs> mm. So, what would you uh, drink this beer with? Perhaps uh, a porterhouse steak. Porterhouse. Porterhouse steak. Steak beer. It's the old steak Red beer. Red meats. So we started around ten fifty five, and ended at ten ten. So this will be about six, a little under six, five point nine percent, which. Uh, it should be good. I mean, that'll be pretty tasty. You want to taste it and yeah. see? I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how that pills and the malt worked in it. Very caramel coffee smell. Off the nose. Mm, off the nose. Off the nose. Mmm. Ooh. It's like a dessert. A caramel delight. That's really good, actually. I like it, at least. What do you think, Kyle? Yeah, it's going to be great. <clears throat> That'd be really good. That is nice. That's it's really smooth. balanced. Really, really yeah. well. Yeah, definitely. Sometimes mistakes can be great. Yeah, it wasn't so much a mistake. It was just more Sorry, of... A happy accident. Yeah. You know, and oh. that's kind of the beauty of cooking or brewing. You know, if something's... You come up with some new stuff that might be better. out of stock, you just substitute it, so... Make a trip out to visit that malt. Yes, yeah, definitely. Got a little bit of air in there, but all done. All done. Yeah, we, you're getting the perfect two and a half gallons into the keg, which is perfect. Um, these little three gallon um, carboys work really well for uh, two and a half gallon batches. So. We used. 
an English ale yeast on this, I believe. Uh, Do you I remember? I don't know. I don't remember, but... Um, I believe I think did. so. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think this is going to be good. I was a little worried about this one, too. So. No, I think I like this one. I think it's going to be nice. So, we're going to just pop this in the old kegerator, uh, put it on some gas, and drink it uh, next week or two. And this might get a little, a little bit better with a little bit of age on her. So, um, it, it'll be good, though. Looking forward to it. Nice work again. Oh, yeah. Thank you.